Impaler has been sort of trending towards Jarvan in the last few weeks. So we need to see if the other champions are up. Does he still want to run Jarvan or is he going to go for the S tier junglers as many people refer to them? Final ban. Unsurprisingly here though was Cassadin from the red side. That's left Twisted Fate up and available. And we've already seen Alliance picking up Twisted Fate as a first pick in previous games. So we'll see if that continues to ring true here today. And Froggen certainly going to be comfortable on the card master. We'll see if he can bring the A-level game that we've seen from him before. Well, we are going to be fighting now because Lee seems coming straight back to the middle and Selfie is going to go down as a first blood. Impaler though, doing a good job. Can he actually get it onto Shook and find a second kill? He's going under the tower. Doesn't he have the damage there from the red buff? Not quite enough. Impaler has to back away. It's a one for one in mid. Use that as an opportunity to get in. Definitely doesn't have a massive cooldown on it. There is the gold card coming in on towards Selfie. He may go down before Impaler can do anything. He will fall. It's Froggen that gets that kill. And just a little bit slow off the mark was Impaler to get in there and help defend. That's the power of Lee Sin and um, the twist of fate really coming together there for all that damage. It looked all too easy with Selfie roaming down to the bottom. No ultimate available. They've got it on Nip. They're going to go for Nip and I think he's dead. He's going to be one more auto attack. <laughs> he didn't. Came actually from Selfie over on the side there. Just with that roam down, Selfie not really having to do anything in that fight apart from maybe that one last auto attack to get himself a kill. Nicely done either way by the bottom lane of the Super Hot Crew to set that up. Very, very good play by Selfie. Just walks in, actually secured the kill with that rune prison on his W, which is about 110 damage. Not much more than his auto attack not, either way. No, definitely not. But, you know, a good initiation from Kasingi. He did burn his flash and his ignite for that. No challenge from Alliance until Destiny. Super Hot Crew are well timed, but he has a teleport as well. That was a great flash from Kasing Dragon. He's going to be going over towards the Super Hot Crew, but Mr. Oz Focus just following him through after the kick there as well. TP was actually cancelled in the top lane for Mimer, and now the Super Hot Crew, one by one, going to be picked to pieces. It's a double kill in the end for Shook. Three kills overall. Super Hot Crew did manage to pick up the Dragon in that, though. Absolutely decimated by Alliance. Oh, Impaler, he's got caught. Oh, he's not. God. Little repel, but is he going to be able to get away from the damage? The answer is no. It's a gold card from Froggen that finishes that one off. Good reactions to get up in the air, but just not enough. Oh, and now Kasing down in this bottom lane needs to be a little bit careful. Actually, he's going to throw his ulti, but Shook is there. That's the big danger of this one. He gets knocked up and surely goes down. It's Tabs that gets that one, and they're not done just yet. Shook tries to get in. Froggen had come down. Selfie actually disturbing him somewhat inside of that bottom river area. In the end, it's just a one for zero, but Kasing being caught completely out there. They just destroyed. Even though Kasing had initiated the fight, the support was there from the rest of the team. And Alliance just secure themselves another easy kill. Destiny blown from Froggen. So at least there's that small respite oh. from the rest of the crew. But I think they're oh. going to dive selfie. Oh, there is the Q. And he gets the kick onto him as well. And that is typical shock, ladies and gents. They take the damage onto the support. The minion's actually been pushed, uh, pushed back from the turret. It doesn't matter. Alliance get the kill onto Selfie and secure themselves their second turret of the game. They are looking flawless. Alliance can just do the same in the top lane. The tower is, is getting lower and lower. Mimer's going to get caught out. Mimer's actually started this fight. And here comes Froggen. Yeah, wild growth. And there is his dragon away. But Froggen going to go underneath. The turret, there's the stun. The wild card's coming through. He's actually taking too much damage here, and that may just be enough now to force Alliance to back off, or at least for now, because Nif and Shook are both coming up, and this is so typical of Alliance. But they still maintain a gold lead, and it's just a matter of uh, coming back from that pause. Oh, they're gonna be baited into this one though. Mimer's gonna dive in. We see Shook coming around the side. They may need to be quicker about this one though. Impaler knocked up. Nif is gonna be going low. Well, Flash, but I think Mimer's got this one. Nif actually backing away from the damage, but Mimer gets the finisher, and now it's Shook that's going to be chased down. Actually does land his Q and safeguards away. Flash used as well. Can he escape from that speed of Mr. F Selfie? He's not going to be able to. There is the shutdown. In the meantime, though, Wicked is pushing the bottom lane. May join the party as well. Not sure the Super Crew have actually got the damage to kill that tower. Twisted Fate, though, popping Destiny. Where is he going to come? He actually uses the bait from Twisted Fate with his onions. Can he actually get the gold card down? He will. It's on to Selfie. Who did a good amount of damage back, but they don't get it. Here's another gold card with the flash. Mimer's going down. 
card. Frozen now on a rampage. Can he get even more? Here's the card. It's a gold one again. Shot now moving in. Gates does get the kick and knocks both of them off. Another gold card. This time will be repelled away from. But that won't save him. Taps comes down. And just like that, the Super Hot Crew lose four men. Absolutely perfect fighting from Alliance. They defend the tower. They force Super Hot Crew all the way back. And thanks to the work that Lulu, uh, Wicked rather, had done earlier in the game, they grab a tower out of the deal as well. And they're off to the side. This is grasping Roots territory if I've ever seen it. Strangle Thorns if it's even needed. We're going to see Mimer TPing on the back of them. That's a good three-man knockoff, but will Mimer be tanky enough to get through? Nip may even end up dying. Flashes in the last second from the calling. Wicked caught on the other side, though, and I don't know if Nip's going to be safe. That's a good summoner heal coming out. Alliance scattering and going with two men to the left, two to the right. In the end, they get away, but they might lose towers for the pleasure. So it may end up being a trade one for one as far as towers are concerned. A kill secured onto Wicked, and that's the sort of first fight that we've seen Alliance be very scattered for in terms of the 5v5. Think of it as well, and Frozen Heart, a nice item for Ryzer any day of the week. Well, even maybe more now as Impaler gonna get caught out with a lot of damage. Teleport. TPs are coming down. Both Wicked and Mime are gonna join in at the same place, but Wicked caught out very early. Wild growth to the last second. He has to flash away. They've caught up Frogan. Is this healthy gonna be able to blow him up though? Not quite enough damage just yet, but Mime will keep chasing. Nice slows coming out of Wicked, and they stand off five versus five outside of the Dragon Pit again. Alliance need to be so careful. Their big CC. He's down, and that's Kasing Kaur. Kaur Kasing, and the damage is there. He's lifted against the finisher. Shot coming in. It is a super hot crew. They get Dragon, but there is Frogan off to the side. He's actually coming at the wrong place. But is he going to flash over? No, because he doesn't have a flash. But there's the kill onto Selfie. Tabbed will get that one, and it's a two for nothing. Super hot crew again, losing members, but getting the Dragon. Even more uh, scary there is Mr. Ross flashes over the Wraith Camp wall, so afraid that he was going to get run down. The range of Caitlyn shows so true in that previous fight. Uh, Tabs was never really in danger. After the successful win, Alliance have opened up Baron. There is pings here from the Super Hot crew, but they don't have vision. They are going to consider going in. Uh, do they have vision in the pit? They, there is vision in the pit, and it looks like Impaler wants to try steal. Oh, uh, he's gone up too early there, though. Yeah. Repel coming too early out of him, and he's gonna have to be careful there to kill landing from Juk and the death. And surely the Baron here comes Mima from around the side. Alliance able to get that one, and Mima will simply flash away. Nice little try for him, but not enough in the end. And the first part of the game will be secured by Alliance. Just once again, very confident play. Mima down to about half HP. There's the destiny going to be used. I think it's just to reveal exactly where the super hot crew are. Move through, take away that inhibitor turret. Julie the inhib as well. Actually, Frogan going off to the side. Going to try and pick off Selfie using the Zonias early there as well. But Mima is actually going to dive in. It's a lot of damage towards Wicked. And he gets finished off by Mr. Ralph. Can they get any more from this? I think the super hot crew are happy to defend with what they've got there. Small misplay from Frogan. Maybe biting off more than he should have. If he can get his shield in position quick enough as Kasing here. Gonna be forced to flash away very quickly. Actually, they might be able to lock him up. And this is a tanky support who's gonna go down. Tabs with the ace in the hole. They've locked up Mimer as well with the grasping roots and he's forced to watch out. Kick back onto Impaler as well. Very quick repel for him, but he's gonna come down on top of them. Will flash off in the end. Well, this is surely the in for Alliance. It definitely is. Without the engage and the support of that run for the front line, Super Hard Crew are forced to back away. Um, I'm not sure about this one. He does have Ghost, does have Flash, but there is a lockup. The burst too much for him. The shutdown comes in from Selfie, being caught out, but he's going to be sacrificed here for the Baron. But it would be a 5v4 if they start, and there's a TP on Mimer. Yeah, we need to see what Super Hot Crew can put together. That is just Frogger being caught out of position, decides not even to try. Oh, they've landed a, a cocoon on them. Oh, and the calling going to come through as well. Wild Growth coming down, but is it enough to keep Nip alive? Flash is going to be using Paler on top of him. Great kick away from Shook. That may be enough to save their lives, but can they keep hold of Baron now? Well, without Froggen still being alive, there's a window here where Super Hot Crew can try to rush it down. 25 seconds before Destiny and a potential re-engage comes out. Mr. Roll is going to have this shield fully stacked up. But remember, there is no Fisher from Brown, so that heavy engage is not there. They're going to try catch tabs. And they actually took more damage for trying to get onto tabs. 
than they really gain from that one. Baron started off again with a super hot crew slowly being chipped away. There is Wicked moving in as well. They have to get away from this one. Mimey goes in, tries to flash out, but he's picked off in the end. They did take down Nip. Frog are going to come back on, but Tav's going to be destroying them. He's on a double kill. Surely will be a triple for him here as well. As Destiny is popped, they've got vision. Frog are not in range though to actually follow through. He's going to get towards the mid lane though, and Alliance going to get Baron again. Very, very good re-engage from the super hot, uh, from Alliance rather, onto the super hot crew. Just using that range and the focus from Selfie onto Nif is really what cost him. He was putting damage down onto the support on the sidelines, and just disjointed. This is one of the scenarios we talk about with the super hot crew where. It feels like the impatience is what costs them. It does look like Alliance, they're going to get another inhibitor turret. They're going to get that one forced this might be the game. support and the jungler away. They've got super minis coming up. Alliance turn and run towards the Nexus turret. Spawn's not coming in for 10 seconds here for Mima. One Nexus turret already down. Kasing going to try his best as he gets kicked away. They don't care about him. They want the game right here. Finally, they do lock him up. There's the burst damage. He goes down to Froggen, and now they can focus on the Nexus and win the game. Alliance continue their run at the top of the European LCS. Fantastic victory. Slight misplays in the mid-game. Definitely stuff that Alliance can, you know, take back and, and learn from. I do want to say Super Hunkoo's comp scaled fairly well. They got to a point where they could contest and they could pick team fights, but they just fell too far behind too early. And unfortunately, that just made Alliance run away with it.